Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. So today, BetterHash's latest version makes it a true profit switching miner. Details to come. Also, it's the enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays. So stay tuned on how you can enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. Now let's get into it. All right, so better hash. I'm always looking for the latest and greatest versions on these profit switching miners. So I went in and did a little research and wouldn't you know it, better hash has its latest version out and it makes it a true profit switching miner. So better hash has been part of my minor cup series that I've done a couple of now and I got another one coming up here shortly. So stay tuned and be on the lookout for that. Better Hash usually lands near the top of the Mining Cup series, so it is a solid miner. So we're going to take just a second. We're going to hop over to Better Hash, look at the latest article, go over that really quick, and then I'll show you it on my NVIDIA rig and show you what this latest profit switching deal is all about. Real quick, are you, any of you out there currently using BetterHash? If so, let me know down below with a simple yes or no. If so, is it your favorite profit switching miner? I'd like to know that as well. Real quick, take just a second, comment below. Now let's go ahead and move on and check out this article. All right, so here we are in the latest news, 10-17-2019, came out just a couple days ago, at least uh, as of making this video. Just gonna go over a few things highlighted here in purple. Things to know, number one, profit switching can only be activated manually by yourself. If you choose to do so, mining will not be interrupted after the introduction of this feature. Moreover, if you prefer to mine a certain currency, even if it's not the most profitable one, you still have the option to manually select algorithms. Number two, before being able to enable the profit switching option, all your miners must be benchmarked. Number three, BetterHash receives the profit switching info from the server, so it will not automatically start doing benchmarks periodically. The profit switching option provides a continuous flow of mining, so it will not stop your regular activity when checking what is the most profitable coin to mine. And scroll down here a bit. We will only switch from one algorithm to another if there's considerable profit difference between the two of them. Doing otherwise might lead to loss instead of profit. So if you do not see any algorithm change for an increased period of time, that does not mean the profit switching is not working properly. Profit switching is a very well calculated feature that performs in your profit's interest. So here's a picture of the miner and there's a new little tab here for profit switching. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into my NVIDIA rig and we're gonna go ahead and check that out. But first, if you guys wanna go ahead and download this, there will be a link down below and this is the page you'll go to. It'll take you right here. You just click on download now. And you're just going to have to type a yes in here and click download now and it'll give you the latest version, which is 3.129.0.60. Alright, so let's head over to the actual NVIDIA rig right now. So here it is up and running. And if we go ahead and click on the settings area, as you can see, there's the profit switching button. You would just click on that. And I've already enabled it. So once you download it and get it installed and ready to go, you'll just have to click that little button. Alternatively, you can go to the actual dashboard, which is right here, and you just click this little tab right there. You just click confirm. And now it's turned off and simple click of a button and you turn it on. Simple as that. And the way it used to work before, you would see all of your actual confirmed coins right here. And then you would have to go to BTC transfer. You could go to a manual draw. And then it would automatically calculate as it's doing now. 
all of your actual shares, but since I have everything converted over automatically, it'll automatically pop up for me. So let's click back over to account. And really that's as easy as it is to set up the auto exchange on it. But something I wanted to show you on the actual miner, maybe if you guys download this and give it a run for yourself, and you can tell me if you're experiencing the same thing. Latest version for some reason, it's not mining with one of my 1660 TIs right here. It's mining with the 1070 Ti right there. I can tell it's mining because the megahertz are up and everything, temperature's up. 1066 gig, same thing. You can see it's mining. The other 1660 Ti is mining, but that one is not mining for some reason. I've done two different benchmark tests on it, and for whatever reason, it's not picking up one of those cars. So what I think I'm going to do here real quick, even though it does supposedly automatically download the latest version now, like Kudo Miner does, I'm going to hit stop. And let me go ahead and close out of this version. I'll go into my miners folder right here in better hash. I always keep, try and keep at least one other version in case something goes wrong. I always have a backup version. So here's an older version right here. So let me double click on this, get this loaded up and going, and I'm going to see if it actually will mine on all four cards with the previous version. So let me click start. All right, so let's go over to settings and see if we can see what version it is. Let me click on general 3.129. So yeah, it's automatically going to use the latest version. So that's a no go. All right, so like I said, it's not mining on one of the cards. If you guys are running into the same thing, see there it is, I just started it up. Just not using that card for some reason. And I know it works, so let me click on this. Let me click stop. And I'm gonna close it down. Let's go back over to here, and I let me click on a nice hash, latest version right there. And I'll show you that it's actually using all the cars, and it's just that miner. All right, let me click start. I'll think I'll pause the video real quick, and I'll come back once it's up and going. All right, so nice hash is up and running. Let's click on MSI Afterburner. And as you can see, there's that fourth card and it is up and mining on that card. Here's the other 1660 Ti. If it'll pop up, there we go. That one's up and mining. And here's a six gig, 1066 gig. That's up and mining. And the 1070 Ti, that is up and going as well. So. It's not something wrong with the actual rig, it's just something up with BetterHash. So listen, go ahead and download BetterHash, give it a run and see if you guys are running into the same thing. If you are, let me know down below, I would appreciate it. And if you figured out a way to fix that, let me know that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into how to enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. So let's head over to my site, thecryptofish.com. Again, if you guys miss any of my answer to my videos, just put your email address in here and you should be good to go. Just click subscribe and every Wednesday I will send out an email and you will be notified that way because sometimes YouTube does not notify everyone of my videos that come out. So this way you won't have to worry about that. All right, Bitcoin Fridays giveaway. Here we are on this page. So a link to this will be down in the description. And Bitcoin Fridays 10-25-2019. As usual, you just gonna have to answer the question correctly. There's only one right answer. What miner did I talk about in this enter to win video? So answer that question, pretty simple. You're gonna have to enter your name and email address. Once you answer that question, you're gonna need to go and confirm that. Make sure you confirm it. And it's gonna bring you back to the site where you can get additional entries by following me on various social media. You can also watch a video. It's the latest Red Panda mining video where he goes over the future of GPU mining, at least in his opinion. So once you get that a watch all the way through, you'll get even more entries. So all in all, I think you can get a total of about 41 entries into Bitcoin Fridays, which will increase your odds of winning when I actually pick the winner on Friday. So go ahead and enter. Be sure you subscribe to my email list as well. 
Again, a link to Better Hash to give it a try for yourself will be down in the description, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Any additional questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, my latest Minor Cup series should be popping up here shortly. Don't forget to subscribe and hammer those likes out. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.